So I'm outside of a house near downtown Denver. Uh, we spent a little over $100,000 on this house. The neighborhood uh, can support it. It's a very nice high-end neighborhood. Um, so we didn't spend anything on the front yard. I didn't feel like we'd get a return there, so we didn't put our money there. We did put all new siding up. So it's uh, new siding, all new light fixtures, new doors, new windows, new roof. Uh, put new columns up here in the front. New concrete, both here, on the side here. Here's, we'll look around back here too. Put a new fence here on the side of the house. We painted the old shed. And it's kind of covered by snow, so you can't see it, but a new uh, concrete patio back there, too. Uh, we added these egress windows. We added two of them. Or no, maybe three? Yeah, three egress windows. Because so we added two of them on this side. And uh, we had to spread that dirt, kind of use it to help fix some grading problems next to the house. So No yard work. We'll see if that's a mistake or not. But everything else is top-notch. Uh, we took this wall down between the living room and the kitchen. You know, surprise, surprise. Uh, we thought that was a good idea. We do that on all of them. Um, we relayed out the kitchen to have this nice new island. Now we are missing a dining room in this house. And we're going to find out what the, if that was a mistake or not. Uh, there was no good way to get a dining room in here. The way it was lined up, laid out before, it was kind of an eat-in kitchen over here. And... I sacrificed that in order to get this nice big kitchen. There is one other comp with the same floor plan in the neighborhood and they did the same thing and it worked out for them. And our remodel is nicer than theirs. So I think it's gonna work out for us too. But you never know for sure. We did this bathroom completely. So that's a new tub, new tile, new everything. Probably starting to look familiar if you watch many of my videos. Our houses look very similar, right? We know the design that brings the highest cost and we just keep doing that. You know, until trends change, this is what we're gonna keep doing. I would say, I will point out, this is a low cost floor, but it has the little squares in it. It's a low profile with the squares. I use this just on houses that our sales price is over 600,000. Otherwise we use the shade carpet. They're both very cheap. But uh, people buying houses over 600,000, that uh, anyone who's bought a new build, anyone who's, you know, maybe it's a second home, you've been kind of through it before. Uh, you've been conditioned to know that this carpet with the little squares in it with the low profile is an upgrade at a design center, right? And uh, so we pay a little bit more for this over the, sh the shag, but it's still dirt cheap char carpet. Like for this whole house, it was, $2,200 installed to carpet it. We need to get the shelving there in that closet. But uh, we changed the layout down here. Sorry, I've been, we added a, a bedroom over there. It didn't used to be a bedroom over there. This was kind of a weird layout. Um, so we, we put a bedroom there. We put this wall across you know, to make that bedroom. So we added a bedroom. Uh, we added this egress window. We added another egress window in the bedrooms. So this is completely legal the way it's set up. We added the can lights. We drywalled the ceiling down here. Added that um, egress window for this larger bedroom. And then the big thing we did was move the door to this bathroom. So this was all a mechanical room with a big boiler in it. We got rid of the boiler. We installed a regular, uh, regular furnace here inside this closet. And so we made the mechanical room half the width to give us room for this hall to get us to a door to access this bathroom. It used to be that the door to the bathroom was here into the bedroom, but we added another bedroom down here. So now that there's two bedrooms, we needed the hall to come to a common area. So it wasn't connected just to one of the two bedrooms. And so other than that, we just put new fixtures in. We have a, a plumbing drain line there that couldn't be moved. So we have a kind of a weird soffit thing in the corner. But yeah, that um, that's what we're up to with this house. So all in, I think it was $120,000 for the remodel. It was a lot. Um, we're, I think we're aiming for, I wanna say 600. 
We're doing too many houses at one time, so I can't remember exactly offhand, but I think we're aiming for 600. And I think we bought in the, like right around four, maybe high threes. So it'll be a decent project. Not a great, not a great flip, but a good flip. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about our mentorship program, we have weekly meetings, uh, make a website for you using the same template that I used to make my own website. You get a bunch of um, testimonial videos on your website right off the bat, right out of the box. Uh, you get access to a course that shows you how to set up Google AdWords and Facebook. Uh, so it's a great value. Uh, the, at the time of this recording, it's $197 a month to join that group. And I think you get a lot for your money. I mean, just the, the website and CRM that you get made for you uh, and provided just those services alone would cost you the 197 a month. Uh, you kind of get the whole course and weekly mentorship meetings uh, for free. So anyway, if you want to learn about that, head on over to selfmadeflipper.com, selfmadeflipper.com, and uh, you can learn more there. So thanks for watching.